Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Space 22. So as you can see I'm being bombarded with a load of messages saying that there is no space left to spawn the chicken eggs. So it's very important that I get these moved. Come to think of it, I should have just done it at the end of the previous episode. So um, yes, let's just slide these out of the way. Uh, very uh, beautiful sunrise. It's quite breezy today too. And yes, that should allow the eggs to uh, continue spawning. There we go. I will put them into the trailer. Let's just check the price for eggs today. Wow. 6,126. I thought it would peak at a maximum of 6,000, but it's 126 pounds over. So I know that the prices can change pretty quickly. So it is essential that we get this loaded up straight away. Need my pickup truck. Look how orange it is though, it's so autumnal. October. Today we need to put in the wheat or the barley. I think we did decide barley in the previous episode. Well, <laughs> I decided it. Um, oh, we never looked at that cartridge. It was the quest for the emerald duck, was it? I think it was. Um, yes, so that's good. We found that in the previous episode. We also have some eggs down this side because we have a few chickens, as you'll know if you've been watching the series. 30 chickens, as opposed to the 360 we have in the big chicken coop. And yes, the uh, the voucher tractor is just finishing off the cultivation work. So not a huge amount just there, only half a pallet in the time the other one has produced six. But yeah, it's uh, it's a good effort. And the Landini tractor is waiting for a wash. I said to it, you don't need a wash. And it said, yes, I do. <laughs> so, yeah, it needs a wash. Yeah, Landini, very quickly. Because, yeah, this farm has talking tractors. Right, okay, so <laughs> let's just get these loaded up. This is going to be quite impressive. And, yeah, I don't know why the frame rate is a bit worse today. Um, I'm sure it's going to sort itself out. It seems to happen whenever I rest in the autumn, so possibly tree related. But it does disappear, as I found it in the previous year. Okay, so I'll just continue loading as neatly as possible, and then we'll head off. We can't stack, so I'm going to have to put this final pallet into the pickup truck. Well, we can stack, but I think it would be highly unrealistic to. Because if you put a full pallet on top of them, yeah, we have some scrambled egg. Uh, we also can't strap. You can't put a strap over the top of them, for obvious reasons. So they can slide around everywhere instead, and they'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, we're off to the farm shop. But I'm not too sure if they want quite so many. If they don't, we can go to the bakery but the price is considerably lower, so let's just hope the farm shop is happy to buy all of this. Yes, it really is beautiful, especially in the autumn. Just look at those trees. And the contrast between these green trees and the uh, orange-brown trees is uh, really incredible. Really nice. Right, so yeah, we found the collectible here. It was on top of the bridge in the previous episode. <laughs> oh, my egg pallet's sliding everywhere. It's a good job you can't break them because I would have broken everything. The cultivator has finished. That's good to see. So there goes the first load. And it really does take time to sell. There are so many to sell. Uh, so we'll just leave them to it. <laughs> just, uh, what is it going to be? Like 30 seconds just to sell them. So many. 30 seconds might have been pushing it, but anyway. Uh, £56,344. And the farm shop did buy all of them. The bakery uh, was the one place where they wouldn't buy a large amount for some reason. So we now have £146,000, 
and I haven't checked what's in the used machinery sale. I'll park this back over here. There we go. Right, anything useful? Yes, there is. Wow, and I did actually say we were going to buy a lorry if it was cheap enough. Uh, we can just about, I think, afford both of those. And for anybody wondering, no, I did not put these in here myself. This is just an amazing coincidence. Wow, that really is quite incredible. I wasn't going to buy the 8S. I was going to go for a McCormick or a 6700 series. But since it's there, I'm going to struggle to turn it down. I'd also go for a fence. I'd definitely buy a fence. Or oh, maybe there isn't a fence in the medium. Oh, there is. Yeah, I would have. I would have loved it for that to be in there if it was the top spec. Two hundred and forty-six. That would have been perfect. Now, I think I probably should buy the lorry because, although I would absolutely love that, I'm going to really kick myself. But um, yeah, we have a tractor. We're going to go for silver. But I wish we had the double axle here. I, I don't know why we don't get the option. But anyway, I'm being picky. Let's change the tyres. These are different to FS19. Different options. I think we'll go with... The Continental. I don't like the rim colour at all. So we'll go with Chrome. Does that look good? It's like sports lorry. Only 59,978, which I know, well, it does sound still like quite a bit of money, but still, it's a 500 horsepower lorry. Oh. I'm actually annoyed that the 8S is in there, because I really do want it, kind of. The fact that it's there makes me want it, but I wasn't going to buy it. And I'm sure there's going to be quite a few people watching this who are going to be saying, oh, you should have bought it. But on the other hand, then there'll be some people saying, oh, great, you bought another Massey Ferguson, so you got rid of a Valtra, and now you just have two Massey Fergusons. I mustn't forget Landini, of course, the talking tractor. Uh, <laughs> talking only since this episode. Anyway, uh, yes, we better, we better get it back. So, yeah, I'm actually quite frustrated that the 8S has popped up, which just sounds ridiculous. It really does. Yeah, I was gonna, I would have chosen um, over the 8S a Fent or a McCormick and then a 6700 series. Or is it, sorry, is it a 7700 series? I think it might be in this game. Better clarify. Yes, 7710 and 7720. So it's quite worn out. It does need a service. But this is fine because I have just downloaded a mod. In fact, it's the first mod I've downloaded for FS22. It is the Workshop mod. And it looks very good. So let me just try and find it. I did enable it. So it must be in placeables. But I don't know where. There it is. Yes, the Vehicle Workshop. It allows you to create a spot anywhere on the map where you can customize your machinery without the need uh, for a paid mechanic. So this is a really, really nice idea. We're going to have to put it outside because it's going to take up my working space, but yeah, that seems well worth buying. And hopefully just moving up to it is going to be enough. So it looks like you get a generator, some power tools, it just it just looks good. Yep, it works. And it's going to cost me £6,114 to repair the lorry. But we, we've got a good saving. And it looks like we probably can actually tow the dolly as well, but I don't want to. Oh, but it, yes, of course, it wasn't the price that we paid. Always seems to be different. Maybe that's worst case scenario. I don't know. Right, so let's just move this dolly over here. Although, actually, the dolly can be sold because now we have the lorry um, for the tanker as well. Although, yes, I remember back. I said we won't use the lorry on the tanker because I have to put it into the lake. 
and this would probably get stuck. We could try it. But yeah, we may well be selling that dolly. Okay, well I think I've rambled on enough. I just was not expecting those two machines to be in the used machinery sale. It's very good. And yeah, that just looks really good. If, if we don't like the colour or anything of the lorry, we can always change it in the future. That's fine. Customise it in the uh, workshop that we've just placed. Anyway, today, the, the main job is going to be, hopefully, drilling this field and planting a forest. I really look forward to planting the forest. I've just gone to take this cultivator back. Oh, and of course, I mustn't forget to harvest the corn, because <laughs> it is October now. We do need to harvest the corn. We are going to have to rent this drill. But that's fine. We can just leave it with the worker. Get stuff done. And we do, I think, have enough seed back in the shed. So we shouldn't have to buy any more today. Change the crop to barley. There we go. And this time when I return it, I must make sure I take the whole thing. Because if you return it from here, it seems to get rid of the power harrow, but not the drill itself. But yeah, it looks like just over 1,200 litres is going to be enough. I do just need to do here, because otherwise the worker will get very confused. Just go up and down twice. And then we're going to go over to the store with the lorry to pick up our new saplings. Okay, so here we are. We have the forklift, and you know, a few episodes ago I said how this wouldn't be able to go on the uh, trailer for the pickup. Turns out I was right. They are really heavy. So, anyway, into pallets, and we need to go into here. We're going to plant some spruce. Probably, probably just one, because if we have one of loads of different types, uh, we're going to run out of space. Pine, I think we're not going to have pine. Um, Stone pine could be interesting though. Birch, yep, yeah, we're gonna have some birch. Uh, we'll go for. We've already got some willow. Definitely go for some maple, although. Yeah, I'm not too sure if you'd see it in this part of the world that often. I'm not too sure. And uh, dogwood again is uh, fascinating. Hickory, yep, yeah, we'll go with it. We're not gonna have American elm. Or the cypress. Or cypress, I'm not sure how you pronounce that actually. A service berry, we'll go with service berry. And then, yeah, I think we'll have some oak as well. So it's going to be a real mixed woodland. They all look the same at the moment, or very similar, but that is to be expected really. They will change soon. So if I open the curtain, we want to change it to the back because we already have some lettuce at the front. There we go. We'll load them in. And then we can take them over to the field. We already have the tree planter over there. We've got it cheap. Ooh, are these actually going to fit? They're going to be through the roof. Ooh, good job they can bend. And it's going to be a trailer full of trees. Our whole woodland in one trailer.
raining and I still need to do my corn harvest. I don't know if we can harvest corn into November. Hopefully we can do. I need the calendar. Corn. Oh yes, we could do it in November. So we'll do it next time, most likely. Unless the rain clears away, in which case we can do it today. But anyway, the forklift is here. Well, it needs to be down the bottom end, really. We'll park the lorry here somewhere. We do need to texture the ground. But before we do, let's just get that trailer back. Uh, still going strong. Yep, so let's just close the curtain. We can strap them in. We have 140 saplings. It's like a forest in here. Yeah, 140. 140 trees. We're going to have 160 in total though, because we've already put 20 willows in. And we'll park somewhere just over here. Just make sure we're off the road completely. There we go. So we do need the tractor. We have the Massey Ferguson available. Hopefully it's going to be able to pick up the planter. It is surprisingly heavy. So I might be better off taking the front loader off and putting weight on the front. If I have a weight, I'm pretty sure I do have a weight, but I might have lost... Oh, there it is. I can see it. It's lurking. But yeah, we'll take the front loader off. Again, as soon as we get a telehandler, it can be sold. I'm only keeping it as a an emergency backup. So there we go. Good. Okay, well, I can't see any issues here. It looks so nice with the grape vines and the corn ready to harvest. The farm looks so much better now, in my opinion. Hopefully you agree. It's certainly evolving. So yeah, not going to be doing this in a normal way. Uh, you should go up and down in straight lines. I'm going to be sort of driving around, just putting it down every now and then, just so we get a really nice mixture. It's just going to be a nice mixed forest. Now I might be able to just go up to the trailer and pick them out with the uh, the tool here, but I I don't think I should do. It would probably seem quite unrealistic. So let's open the curtain and we'll take each one out individually with the forklift. So we'll start here. There's no particular order. Don't know if it's going to tell us what we have as our first one. It's just a sapling. Um, well, obviously it is a special one in some way. It's just we can't see at the moment which one it is. But we'll know when it grows. When they're all mixed up. <laughs> right, so. Yep, certainly no uh, issues with weight on the front. It's nice and balanced. Switch it on. Just keep putting them in. And I am going to time lapse doing this because it is going to be so random. I'm just going to be driving everywhere. It's possibly going to look a bit weird. But I don't mind if they're too close together. Should look fine. It is, after all, supposed to be a nice, dense new woodland. looking really good and then it is just a case of uh, selecting the right texture because I'd, I'd need to paint the ground it might be worth doing it now but I'm not too sure where the boundary is going to be we are going to be going further up here yeah should really mark it out so landscaping, painting forest ground which will indeed cost money but we only have to do it once yeah that seems to be appropriate I 
think it might be better though to have the uh, different shape tool. And we can be messy, because when these trees grow, it's going to look completely different anyway, so... Oh, that is so expensive. Right, okay. I can touch up areas soon, but as you can see, when all the trees have grown, uh, this will look totally natural. At the moment it looks weird, but it won't do soon. So, I'm going to crack on with this time-lapse. We're going to plant all of these, it's going to take some time, uh, but that's part of the fun. Okay, progress update. We've run out of space, <laughs> which is no surprise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them up this grass strip over here as well. Uh, these ones can be just in a straight line. I don't wanna be too close to the edge because that is gonna be uh, the vineyard extension. But as you can see, they are recessed a bit anyway. So yeah, this is absolutely fine. Just make a nice long line of trees, but we still have about 40 left to do. 43 to be precise. So um, yes, we'll just have to uh, see what we can do with what we have left. I, I do want to put a few of those last two pallets into the main forest because it is going to be a mixed dense woodland. And it probably is actually the most dense woodland I've ever made in Farming Simulator. I hope it won't cause any lag. Um, I, I don't think it will do. We are going to cut some down. Although, yes, it is still adding another 160 trees to the map, which already does have quite a few trees. So we'll just have to see. See what it does. Right, so I've just go and dot a few of these around. Just so we get some of every type. And then we'll put the rest up that straight piece. Or maybe up this side, actually. We could put it up this side. Or maybe even down the... Uh, in the other field there. It is going to be fascinating to see this evolve. I don't know what it's going to like. It's going to completely change the landscape in that direction. It's going to be impressive. Anyway, the good news is the rain has gone. It's cleared away. And it's this sort of thing where you don't really understand if it's a good or a bad thing to do until you've done it. It could cause horrendous lag or it could be absolutely beautiful and be an endless source of income. Right, let's get back for the final pallet. We have 20 more saplings. And I know exactly where these ones can go. Up against the existing vineyard. Oh, I'm gonna have to open the other curtain, I think, unless I can move them by hand. Nope. Although, this brilliant new mod from Weasel, uh, super strength, just to assist us uh, on occasions like this. There we go, brilliant. Yeah, because in real life you'd be able to jump into there and try and push it around by hand. Seems fairly reasonable. And yeah, look at this. I know they are quite hard to see, but even on the first growth stage, or what, would it be the second? Maybe the second. Um, yes, we're going to see a dramatic change. 
the drill has finished as well. So here we go, we have 15 trees to put in. I'm going to put them as close to the road as possible. They won't interfere one bit with the vineyard, except for it shading it, but <laughs> that won't make a difference. Uh, in fact, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to keep quite a nice strip. It'll still be a strip of grass. And these may well be the first ones that we cut down. I'm just wondering, if I switch on field info, it might tell me which tree it is that I've put in. If I walk up to it, I'll have to see. Because I'm pretty sure I switched off field info. Find it in one second. We have just three left to put in. And yeah, they can go in behind here. Not behind the shed. Brilliant. So there we go. We've planted 160 trees. <laughs> that is such an achievement. Uh, we actually don't really need the tree planter anymore. We could sell it. We might as well sell it. Let's just park this over here. Yeah, so field info. Switch it on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, withered grapes, that's normal. Yeah, I think it only tells us about the crops that we are putting in with a drill. Sorghum. So there we go. We know what we've put in. Everything's in, so it's going to be quite a sight. Let's close the curtain. And we'll take this back up to the farm. It might be worth going all the way around here. I'd say it is. I should really keep hold of the drill, despite it being rented, because we have that field that we've just been in that needs to be done. Anyway, this can go back over here. We have some more lettuce and tomatoes to load up very soon, but not today. I did just check and see if we could sell the planter at the uh, workshop that we placed, and you can't, which I think is good, because it is after all a workshop, not a sell point. So yep, we'll repair it, we might as well sell it for £4,370 so we have lost money there but we've still had quite a bit of use out of it so now we have to plant the field again but it doesn't actually have to be done until next year if we don't want it to be uh, it would only have to be done now if it's going to be wheat or barley and it probably isn't considering all of this is barley so it might make sense then just to return the drill after all I have a planter, so we might just join these two fields together and plant it with something. Then we have no rush. Yes, I will do that. I also noticed that the fuel gauge is showing as very low on this tractor. I was hoping to replace this tractor. The opportunity was there earlier. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to put some fuel in it. Otherwise, we're going to completely run out. Anyway, let's just take the small amount of seed out that we have there we go next time we'll harvest the corn we'll cultivate both the fields and leave them for the winter I just hope it's not raining tomorrow, we'll have to check the calendar because if it's raining we're going to have some issues with the harvest but it's unlikely to be raining all day we must get the corn in Okay, so uh, weather forecast. Uh, yes, there is going to be some rain around, but nothing in the near future. So maybe, just to play it safe, we should stay in October, this in-game day, for the next episode. Just until we've done harvest, then we can move on. That'd be for the best. So yeah, turn the engine off, refuel, but not too much, because we will be getting rid of this. There we go. About a third of a tank. Should be good. £118. And here we are back at the farm. So there we go. Some really good progress. And look, the chickens have already produced another two eggs. No, that would be quite impressive. Another two pallets. Yep, two eggs would be, uh, well, a good opportunity to say goodbye, chickens. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be worth it. They do so well. They're, they're absolutely fantastic. So pleased that we have them. And, well, the sheep are good too, but we are really breeding them now to sell them, to actually sell the sheep instead of selling the wool. 
the wool is just extra. So, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.